ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Alpha Male Television. Today we are filming from live from the Vortex downstairs in lively Gillette Square in the heart of throbbing Dalston. And we have a fantastic array of special guests. On my right, the former Premier light middleweight back in the day, Dean Cooper. <laughs> On my left, the former Commonwealth champion, the and one and only and British welterweight champion, Sylvester Mitty. Sitting next to him is the former British super middleweight champion, the one and only James Cook, MBE. And sitting next to him is, of course, the legendary former middleweight champion of the world, Jason, the method man, Matthews. There you go. So we've got plenty to talk about. So, Jason, talk a little bit just about Alpha Male and the African, all African boxing board of control. What, in your opinion, you've been out there, what's your experience of the potential of some of those African boxers? Well, what we've got out in Africa, we've got a lot of um, boxers. We've got so much potential, but obviously the situation they're in is not that good. So what happens, you get um, boxers who have a lot of potential, a lot of potential very strong, um, very powerful, uh, but they have a lot of boxing technique and the boxing um, IQ. And that's what we do in Africa. We're going over there as myself. I'm going over there and I'm trying to train them. I'm teaching them or learning them um, the, the fundamentals of boxing. And we've got a lot of good guys coming through as well. It's just to get them um, to try and get our, get our our base in Africa where we can um, actually go over there and have a camp over there so we can train them over there and get them ready for fights. I mean, we're trying to get them back to um, the UK, you know, these come back to the UK and, and, um, and phone, and, oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. And, um, and try and just like, uh, get them focus um, on the potential, um, what they've got over there. It's really good. I mean, Africa's lovely as it is. You know, the weather's perfect for them. Um, you have to worry about people losing weight and stuff because it's always hot over there. <laughs> so you have to worry about losing weight. You know, and, and, and these guys, you know, these guys are super fit. So I think um, there's a bit more help, a bit more um, help for the government, a bit more help from obviously promoters, and people who want to see great fighters. And, it will happen. Jay, Jay, you know what, can I, can, can I just come into that? You know, you mentioned Africa is a part of the world, I think. I mean, John here, yeah, John was an experienced promoter. And I'm thinking, if we've got all these good fighters out there, and you have someone like John who knows people um, and was a promoter, I'm going to push it onto John now. You know, why not, you know, get something and start something out there where you probably yourself could get out of these great fighters when Jason well, was talking about. Exactly. Now I've I've seen the tapes of Jason training some of these fighters out in was it in Gambia? Gambia. Yeah. Right, where the gym is and that, yeah. And it's clear to me that they're in, that they're improving. Yeah. So what we're hoping to do with myself and Dean and um, an Alpha Male is to get the best prospects and try and promote them over here and in the USA so that they've actually got a level. But that doesn't also mean the lesser boxers who can be opponents that you know they can come over here and they can earn some money as well yeah. it's not just about the so we do definitely have a, a plan in place because looking at it to be honest the rest of the world's pretty much sewn up but africa yeah. is not no right and no. that's what i might and hope and um mohammed you know they've done fantastically when yourself fantastically well in in pioneering that market and i think but i think as, as james says i'm an experienced promoter so is Dean, um, and I think we can add that, add that to the mix. I mean, I don't know what you think, Dean. No, I, think, I think you're right. I think you're correct. I mean, I was just chatting earlier. So it's you know, it's about the levels. So this guy's gonna, it's, it's good enough to be champion. We just need to give them a lucky break. Yeah. And there's guys who just want to earn a few quid, mm. and they just want you know, just want to come, you know, have a couple of fights. Mm. And, you know, mm. I'm not saying be a journeyman, yeah, but they wanna, they just want to earn money. They're not course, really, yeah. you know, because not everyone can be a champion. No. And the only reason why I say that is because don't forget, you know, Mickey Duff and the rest of the guys and you went there first when nobody gave these guys a chance and they break the market. Yeah. So, Mickey Duff did, didn't he? With, yeah, with John right. McGarvey exactly. and, and he, so, to be and fair to like, Duff he did. Yeah, Kansan yeah. Muti, a lot of fighters Mickey Duff bring yeah. over. Yeah, he so, did. I you know, with you two guys, I reckon you know you know, sometimes we spend too much time talking yeah, for somebody right. else going there and that's right. the market. That's and right. I think, that's you right. know what, yeah. you know, if you guys really want to do it, 
you can get in there first before everybody else because if we sit down here we talk about it and I guarantee somebody else will probably mm. go ahead and do it before you yeah, guys yeah. and like I said because you got Jason over there you know Sammy yeah. it's just you about know, give, get, giving them an opportunity sure yeah. you know, and you can, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen a, a, a video on YouTube the other day about African fighters and it was they had, they had they didn't even have a ring they had like a yeah, yeah, it was like a path, yeah. like yeah. a like a stone path, mm. and it was all fighting yeah. to yeah. get on there. And there was mm. there was uh, sort of managers from outside of the, the, the town or the village or whatever it was, you know. And they were saying, "Oh, he's going to be," you know. It was amazing. There was uh, maybe thirty lads who wanted to fight, that's turning up, yeah, and, you know. Over there. And there was some great talent there, and it's just a matter of getting his talent and bringing them through. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, what what, what we're trying to do is Alpha and We're trying to get. We're not trying to exploit the boxers in Africa. We're trying to get them. Obviously, get get him um, good money and obviously get good fights and get um, tending fights as well. What do you get a lot of? You get a lot of um, European um, promoters and stuff going to Africa, getting boxes, bringing them to England, and they get mm. bad, they get battered. Mm, yeah. You know, and we don't want that. We don't want them to come up and get battered. We want someone. We want to train to a certain level. They're good enough, and if they, if they fight a guy and the guy's better than them, the guy's just better than them. Yeah, <laughs> he's just better yeah. than them. And, what happens? They get used as opponents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what we don't want. And it's been happening for like. Well, Jesus Christ is a boy to me, but, mm. you, know, <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and we don't really want that to happen. And we, we want to give them opportunity. And if they, they're good enough and they get the right training, yeah. I think they could do well, you oh, know what I mean? And, and, if, and if they're not good enough, they're just not good enough. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. But yeah. we don't yeah. want and, and we get yeah, a lot of fairs cracking away. Yeah, yeah. But also, chance. Jay, also, let, let's look at it for what it is, okay? We've got a city here, which is London. I know you've seen some Bristol. We're all Londoners, right? When I first moved to London, when I was about, my dad's from here, but it was basically black British, West Indian, white British mm. a few Asians a few yeah. Jews that was about it mm. but yeah. now it's, yeah. it's a mel- you know do you know what a, the Congo Congo was not Congo was not a British colony right no, yeah, yeah. yet there's yeah. 45,000 Congolese people living in London yeah. right mm. and it wasn't even a British mm. co- colony yeah. so the African community is absolutely huge now so I don't see any reason why yeah. if the tickets are priced why they can't come out and support yeah. these guys yeah. if we yeah, get, course, you know yeah. what I mean but yeah. it's huge now. I mean, it's massive. Yeah. 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 There's over a million Africans in London. Yeah. And, 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 and that's a problem. Mm-hmm. The, the thing is, Too listen, much. guys, we want to be honest <laughs> and we want to give these guys a chance, yeah? Um, there's fighters, good African fighters over here because nobody knows them and nobody's willing to give them a chance. People is actually missing out on good fighters. That's right, absolutely. Yeah. Champion, you know? And I think if you guys start something going, I think it will keep I mean, off, I mean sure, uh, James is saying, what I, get, what I get when you go to like, basically Africa, even Mexico, whatever. But when they, when, I mean, when, we, when I was fighting, I was fighting for like, I put it for myself mm. and some money, buy a nice car, a house, and all stuff. But but you, you get these you get these guys over there. They're fighting for the whole village. Yeah, yeah. The whole village, not not, yeah. not just like them self fighting for the whole village. They're, and they fight for the whole country. They fight for the whole community. And and when you see them, I mean, when I take some of these guys on the pads, they they punch like the devil himself. They, yeah. they punch so hard because mm. they're punching. Mm. For the whole village, they're not punching for themselves. And if you get that kind of mentality with boxers, kind of like in England, you know what I mean, in the, in the West Indian boxer, the, the white boxer, or the, or the Asian boxer, oh God, we have you know, we some serious, serious champions. And that's and that's what they've got. What's the, what they've got is what we went over here. Yeah. That, that, Let you know? me bring Sylvester in. Yeah. If, if people like James and Jason, right, and Dean yeah. are training, going out to Africa and, mm. and training some of the boys and some of the technicals, it's all about technique, isn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. How big a difference would that make to the to the standard of, of those boys over there? I should think it make a great difference because even when I went in St Lucia, I found the boys there they had a lot of raw talent, very strong. They didn't great in the walk and they had a lot of natural strength, but they didn't have the technique. I was only with them for a matter of a couple of months, and within that time, there was big differences within them. In fact, I brought one over to England later box for the repertoire. So there's a lot of that raw talent. All that needs is positive coaching and that will come through. So I'm pretty sure it'll make a big difference. Well I think it's it's, it's very promising. Let's turn our, turn our attentions now to the domestic scene. There's obviously quite a few big fights coming up. Um, let's look at Anthony Yard versus Kovalev. An interesting one. I was yeah, showing, yeah. showing Sylvester uh, clips of, of, of Kovalev and yard, so we can see, you know, what what Kovalev's about. Um, it's an unusual one because he's going to Russia to fight the great Kovalev. Mm, yeah. James, how, how are you? How are you fixed on that fight? You know, 
Sometimes um, we may fight, we take chances, you know, depends where we are and what we are. And the thing is because Anthony Yardi has got um, what, 19 fights, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and they're all in England, and Kovalev has traveled, you know. But as a good fighter, you can look at the experience. He had so much amateur fight, you know, he's fighting at top level. If sometimes when you go abroad just to have this fight and you have not the experience, it becomes so, so difficult, you know, because you have really everything against you. And if you never had that experience, and I think that's going to be a problem with Anthony Yardi because the same thing happened to Anthony Joshua. When you leave, when you leave your supporters and you're flying out and you're going to somewhere new and you don't understand it, you don't understand the area, everything will become new for you, everything will become different. And I think that's where it's done for going to be. Interesting fight, mm. right? Mm. Dean, how do you, uh, I mean, it, Kovalev's obviously had all the amateurs, as James right. said. I was chatting with Chat Chance now with Jason. I sort of, I got sort of caught up in the hype with, with Yard's <laughs> punching power. Mm. You know, mm. but mm. the reality is, I think, is the other guy, um, Kovalev. Kovalev, his experience is massive. Mm. You know, so there, I mean, he had the two fights with War, you know, Yard, good, but again, it's about timing. Mm. You know, it's about timing. Is Kovalev on his way down? Is Yard just, have they just caught it right? I mean, Warren, you know, he's, he's, he's a master, right? I mean, he didn't put the hat and, and Costa Zoo. Is the timing just right? I don't know. Maybe, I don't think, maybe not this one. I just don't think it's, you know, I think he'd give him a good run, but I just think it's too much experience. So we got, probably, I would say that it's possible that Dean and James um, are going with Kovalev. Jay, how are you fixed on that? I think that Kovalev's amateur experience could be Yard's professional experience because I think he's just got too much in his ammunition. Right, as we talk about timing, the timing is very interesting because I think a lot of it's like hypothetically like Tyson fighting Holyfield. Holyfield beats Tyson. We all know that if it was Tyson's heyday and Holyfield's heyday, Tyson would have ripped off his head. But boxing is about timing, yeah? So I just believe that the timing for Yard can be spot on. It can be spot on, but watching Kovalev's last fight with someone who beat him, then he fights the guy again and destroys him completely. completely. If Kovalev's half of what he was in that fight, he knocks that yard. Mm -hmm. Sylvester. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Dean. I was just going to say, as a son of a great champion, <clears throat> look, it takes a return on his, on his next fight and, 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 and belts the ground out. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. you know? You've seen both boys on a video. On paper, yeah. On yes. paper. Yeah. Just, yeah. Do you think it's Kovalev's experience that we'll see him through, or do you think Yard, you said he's a very sturdy looking athlete, which is very true? Absolutely, he's a natural athlete, and boxing is one thing you just cough up, there's a lot of surprises. So it might just be Yard's day to deliver the punches, which counts on the day. Well, it's going to be very interesting because we've got kind of the other three going for, for uh, Kovalev on his experience, but you're fancying the punch, and you know what? I. I am going to side with Sylvester, me personally. I, I actually think that Yard could knock him out. No, but, you know... Yeah, yeah, I think Yard could knock out could anyone if he hits them. But I just believe that Kovalev... I think he's going to be too much. I think, I think he's going to hit him in his temple so much times he's going to knock him out because that 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 Mayweather thing that everyone's trying to do, it does. it's not going to no, work ever. Everybody. It's not going to work. Okay. Because, because, because that style that style there, Mayweather grown from his, from, yeah. his, from his dad... From his, from, from, mm. his, from his uncle, it's, it's right genetic. through. It's, it's a natural it's thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a natural thing, and that's that style. That style there, uh, and remember, Mayweather could box before even done all that no, stuff. Yeah. And you're absolutely yeah. right. And you know what, Jay? And you're right. The different. Listen, the difference is at the end of the day, right? No matter how good Anthony Yard is, which is very good and it's great, and he's like he's, yeah, as a, as a champion, I want to be a champion. You've got to go out there. And you've got to get everything. But the mm. point is. If you've never fight abroad and fight never. with yep. those crowd and those guys against guys. you, you're getting someone mm. lucky. I trust mm. me, it mm. becomes very, very hard. It becomes very difficult, yeah, yeah. you know. And yeah, if you don't have a team around there, what's know what they're mm. doing? Mm. It's become very mm. hard. I, and I, I'm, think, I'm, I mean, so, sorry, so, 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 Jay, yeah. something comes back. Mm. It's like you go, you go, and you're fighting away, and you fight in Russia, which is mm. racist, mm. Hell, right? Mm. And then you're gonna get people calling you all different stuff, mm. whatever mm. chance or whatever, blah blah blah. If you if you can't deal with that. You've lost before you start. Absolutely. Do you I think it's a tougher problem. job 
than when Hannigan went abroad? No, so definitely. definitely. Has, Listen, you've got to look at yeah, two yeah. different fighters. They're, they're different fighters. Whether people like it, yes, and Hannigan was a good amateur. Very Hannigan good. was a very, very good fighter. Mm -hmm. You understand me? <coughs> Hannigan had all the confidence in the world from the experience he had as an amateur. Yeah. You know, yeah, um, that's right. You know, um, <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, and as you say, Mickey Duff was a great matchmaker because it timed it right. And we know Frank Warren is good at that as well. But, you know, the problem is will Anthony Yardi have the confidence yeah. when he reached there? You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the problem. You know what I mean? He's have that confidence when you're reaching some of the backyard and you realize, hang on, like Jay said, this is Russia. We don't know whether they're like black fighters or any fighters yeah. coming over there to yeah. fight their champions. No, that's the problem. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And when, you, when you're facing no this sort of crowd, you know, Sammy, yeah. You know, no matter how good Anthony Yard is, if you don't have the experience, yeah. you know, Sammy, yeah. you're gonna have problems. You know, Sammy, but this will be you know? the acid test. This will be the well, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This will be his at uh, where, where his will method be will be tested. No, you're totally right. But yeah, I just I feel right. yeah, you're totally right. But I just feel that um, unless you, you you operate at that level of and course, you've been over mm, there with these that's people, that's you're saying, going so to have problems. Mm. Right. Mm. What you said about acid test mm. is because he hasn't even had that. A water test before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got, you've got to look at his opponents, and to me, yeah. some of them were right from the graveyard. Never mind the accident yeah, 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 emergency. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you're going to be what's in front of you. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah, 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 right. yeah, right. yeah, 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 but you're right. Yeah. You've got to give these guys this yeah. experience. Yeah. You've got to give them yeah, these fighters yeah. to build them up this way. Listen, listen, it's not like. In our days, when we used to fight and we look at the first hundred, we say we're gonna ki get killed because everybody could fight. Then there was no choice. But then, you know, you got um, where people go play basketball, they play football, they, they play all different sports mm. now. You know what I mean? So now you don't have that level of yeah. um, the 50 great fighters yeah, and the 50 yeah. tough fighters yeah. in front of you. you know what I mean, so yeah. yeah, you're right. So even though you're saying yes, they're from the graveyard, you're totally right. That's a good manager, a good promoter. Yeah, if, you, if you're interested in a fighter, you don't want to, if they're breathing too hard, you send them back to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. you're serving, so you need to give your fighter, yeah. you know, the chance. And yes, Antonio Yardi, I've got that, you mm -hmm. know, but the problem, I just feel that the test going to Russia, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's not Wales, it's not Ireland, it, you know, it's Russia, yeah. you know, because <laughs> you know, it's a yeah. different part of the world. And yeah. Mr. Yeah. Putin don't like you, may have a problem just to get in anyway, you know what I mean? So, okay, okay, now. Okay, okay, now. Yeah. 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 There is a myth about, um, when we were amateurs, Kevin Hickey used to psychologically destroy a lot of good fighters. Yeah. Say, so when you're in Russia, they made the Russians bigger than they actually the were. Yeah, course, yeah, yeah. It is one man, vulnerable. Yeah. You hit him on the chin properly, he he'll down. go down and yeah. trouble and succumb as anybody. But, um, Warren um, is a good manager, and if Yardi goes in with the right state of mind, mm -hmm. and he fights his best day, he's good enough to beat um, the, his opponent Guys, on the day. Yeah, I understand, but you know what? You know what? We all know, right, our boxing is, listen, I had the experience here yeah, of going abroad somewhere. I can't even remember where it was. Where did France or Germany? I can't remember where it was. About 100 years ago. The problem, I had somebody that went down, the referee picked him off the rope, I turned him around, and I thought, okay, that's the end of the fight. I went around and the guy hit me, went on the floor, the referee looked at me and said, oh, cool. I didn't officially call it into the fight. You understand know what I mean? This is, this is sort of thing, but this young man. I mean, this yeah. young man gonna be up against. I mean, and like I said, no matter how tough he is, if you have not been in that situation, mm -hmm. you know, the first time, you, you know, you're not talking about going to Belfast or going yeah, to yeah, Ireland or going to Spain. Russia, you're yeah. talking about Russia. Don't mm -hmm. keep, you're talking about Russia. But again, he's he's going out nothing to lose. No, he's nothing to lose. And he's a win. He's a win. Yeah, he's a win. Situation and. He can come again. Mm -hmm. and he's yeah, a young he can come again. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. See, my, 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 That's true. my thing is this: if, if uh, what's the name? John, Jonathan, Joshua Biatsi, Biatsi, whatever his name, Biatsi, yeah. He's better than Yard yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. yeah, I'm saying if he mm -hmm. went to if he went to Russia, I'll be backing him to beat Kovalev. Who's yeah. that? He's a young light heavyweight called okay. Boatsy. Yeah, he, he yeah. He's very, very, very. He's a real deal. Yeah. He's, he's Ghanaian, a real but he's British yeah. Ghanaian. He's, 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 he's a real deal. He, 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 his IQ is so high, it's unreal. Oh, you know it's unreal, I mean? yeah. And, 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 and it's like, it's like really, obviously, we're actually not going to fight Yard. You might fight Yard now, though. If Yard goes there and loses, yeah. then you can watch him fight Yard. But before that, 
for him to fight Eli is a no-no because mm. as far as the Heineken said, I think they're in the same camp. They're not in the same camp. No, no. Yeah, er, yeah. Are they? No, 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 one. No, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think he's a better fighter than Jan. But give you all hundred percent respect. You know what I mean? I hope he goes over there and loads of money. I mean, he's getting, no, he's getting, he's getting good money for the yeah, fight. And, and, and I hope he makes me eat humble pie. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I really do hope he eat humble pie. Because mm-hmm. I, mean, I don't understand that another British boxer lose anyway. But I don't think yeah. it's way too soon for him. And I think that they've, they, if, they've, if they've timed it correctly, mm-hmm. good luck to him. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. But if they haven't timed it correctly, that fight can destroy him. One fight can destroy you. You never fight again. Oh, oh, that's a very valid point. Or better still, if he gets knocked out, he gets knocked out. He doesn't get hurt. He just gets knocked I think out. Enough he would get beaten, though. Yeah, um, get beaten. I don't mind a boy getting beaten. No, no, beaten, beaten. You need to beaten, beaten. We don't need to go back in the ring. That one. You know that one there. The one that's actually the one He'll be protected. To be systematically destroyed. Yeah, it destroyed. doesn't happen so much. No, no it, do, it doesn't. No, and no, it, no. It, you know, it, it may be, it may be difficult for. Well, it may be difficult for Kovalev to withstand the ferocity of... Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. But, but I remember another, another, another really good fight coming up is um, uh, L. Spence and Porter. 